Senegal's political landscape has been shaken by the unexpected victory of Bessirou Diame Fay in the presidential election. Fay, a relatively unknown figure until recently, emerged as the frontrunner with the backing of Ousmane Sonko, Senegal's influential opposition politician. Just 10 days after his release from jail, Fay secured a surprising outright win, reshaping the country's political future and sparking waves of celebration and speculation. Amidst the chaos of Senegal's political arena, the ascent of Bessirou Diame Faye stands as a testament to the power of grassroots movements and the unpredictability of democracy. From obscurity to presidency in a matter of months, Faye's journey raises critical questions about the country's political dynamics and the role of youth activism in shaping its future. His triumph over Amadou the candidate supported by Senegal's incumbent president, Macky Sall, underscores a growing discontent with the political establishment and a desire for change among the electorate. Fay was born in 1980 in west-central Senegal's Ndiaganao. He met Sonko while working as a tax inspector in the government's taxes and estates department, where they were instrumental in the formation of a union. In April 2023, Fay was arrested on charges including spreading false news, contempt of court and defamation of a constituted body, for a social media post. If you're enjoying the video so far, please hit the like button, kindly subscribe to the page and don't forget to turn on your post notification. It really helps with the algorithm. Sonko was arrested on multiple charges in July 2023 including provoking insurrection, conspiring with terrorist groups, endangering state security and immoral behavior towards individuals younger than 21. Faye, alongside Sonko, was released late on March 14, days before the vote, after an amnesty law was passed this month. Faye's rapid rise to power is intertwined with the broader narrative of Senegal's political landscape. Faye, a former tax inspector, has pledged to weed out corruption, restore stability and prioritize economic sovereignty, appealing to the urban youth frustrated by unemployment in the West African country where 60% of the population is under 25. He wants to rid Senegal of the CFA franc inherited from the colonial era, which is pegged to the euro. He proposes introducing a new currency instead. The CFA franc, backed by the French treasury, is accepted in 14 member countries. Additionally, he wishes to renegotiate mining and hydrocarbon contracts. The country is expected to start hydrocarbon production this year. The biggest challenge for the new leader would be to address the more than 20% unemployment rate. The dynamics of the election reveal deeper tensions within Senegalese society. While Faye's victory is celebrated as a triumph of democracy, critics also highlight the polarizing influence of political figures like Sonko and the complexities of Senegal's political transition. Critics argue that political godfathers like Sonko wield considerable influence over electoral outcomes and government decision-making, often at the expense of democratic principles and institutional integrity. Sonko's backing of Bessirou Diame Faye in the presidential election underscores the extent to which powerful individuals can shape the political landscape, sidelining traditional party structures and marginalizing opposition voices. Moreover, the polarizing influence of political godfathers exacerbates existing divisions within society fostering a climate of distrust and animosity among rival factions. In Senegal, where political allegiance often aligns along ethnic, regional, or ideological lines, the involvement of godfathers like Sonko can deepen these cleavages and undermine efforts to foster national unity and cohesion. As Senegal embarks on a new chapter under the leadership of Bessirou Diame Faye, the nation faces both challenges and opportunities. Faye's pledge to reform the judiciary, reduce presidential powers, and tackle corruption holds promise for a brighter future. However, the road ahead is fraught with obstacles, and the success of his presidency will depend on his ability to deliver on his promises and navigate the complexities of governance. As Bessirou Diame Faye assumes office as Senegal's youngest ever president, what lessons can be drawn from his unlikely ascent to power? Will his presidency herald a new era of prosperity and progress for Senegal, or will it be marred by the same challenges that have plagued previous administrations? The answers lie in the hands of Senegal's citizens and the actions of its leaders in the years to come. If you've got this far, we believe you enjoyed the video. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below.